which confidant jotties killed before the walking dead, the ones who live. During the walking dead, the ones who live, Jotties reveals she killed a confidant but never explains who she is referring to, thankfully, another Walking Dead spin-off helps clear this up. After foiling Rick and Mikon's escape attempt, Jotties has the couple at gunpoint and explains how their sacrifice will save their loved ones. She had previously mentioned how if the duo ever escaped, she'd be forced to make the CRM attack Alexandria to ensure their security. Jotties lied about Rick being AB to allow him into the CRM but withheld some crucial information from the military group. This means the CRM is unaware of Rick and Jotties' history, and more importantly, they don't know about Alexandria. Jotties' lie is why she tries to stop Rick and Mikon from making it home and attempts to kill them. Her attempt on Rick and Mikon's lives aren't personal, but rather part of her duty to the CRM. This leads to her telling them about her previous confidant who she killed for the same reason. Jotties describes the confidant as monumental in my development as me, suggesting this person was key in Jotties' transition to becoming a loyal CRM soldier. The confidant Jotties refers to is Huck from The Walking Dead, World Beyond. Huck was one of the show's central characters and was killed at the end of the series by Jotties. Her character was complex as, Despite being an undercover CRM soldier, she assisted the main characters and eventually aided their attempts to try and stop the military group. World Beyond's lore is crucial to the ones who live, as it highlights the CRM's true intentions, and indicates not every soldier is on board with what they do. Huck is a prime example of this. Despite being part of the CRM, she actively tries to stop their plans and is key to unraveling their attempt to wipe out Portland. Although Jotties truly didn't want to kill Huck, she felt she had to, resembling her scene with Rick and Mikon. With Gabriel featuring in episode 5's flashbacks, the confidant scene suggests Jotties killed him. After her confidant speech, a flashback shows Jotties pointing a gun at Gabriel, with the monologue to Rick and Mikon indicating she pulled the trigger. However, she ultimately decides to spare him, indicating that her speech is really about Huck. Jotties has always been portrayed as a community leader, but her connection with Huck reveals she was once her protege. Huck's mother was an influential member of the CRM, having the title of Lieutenant Colonel. Naturally, this led to Huck having a big role in the military faction despite not fully embracing their goals. She was even a soldier when the apocalypse started, defying orders for the greater good, which perfectly described her overall character. Huck's backstory helps explain why she has such a pivotal role, and what led to her becoming Jotty's mentor during her CRM training. Her relationship with Jotty somewhat resembles Akifer's dynamic with Rick. Although Jotty's and Huck's backstory doesn't play out on screen, Huck trained Jotty's into becoming a CRM soldier, potentially even recommending her for the Echelon briefing. This gives Huck a lot of good faith with Jotty's when World Beyond takes place, allowing her to get away with things that Jotties wouldn't normally let slide. When Jotties eventually catches onto Huck's schemes, she reluctantly kills her, even being somewhat respectful during her dying moments, which proves just how important Huck is to Jotties' CRM backstory in The Walking Dead. The Ones Who Live cleverly sets up Jotties killing Gabriel but pulls a bait and switch as Jotties can't quite pull the trigger. Given Gabriel is the first major Walking Dead character to feature in the ones who live outside those advertised, his death would have come as quite a shock. However, with Jotty's commitment to the CRM, it did seem plausible that she would kill him. Instead, she spared him, mainly because of the connection they share. Gabriel was a big part of Jotty's Walking Dead story, showing her sympathy and understanding that no other character had.